Thank you for tuning in to Watch Six Show. My name's Six Show. Today is an unboxing and review of a watch that is not mine. This is uh, for for a loner, uh, for video content purposes, courtesy of Timekeeper Watch. He was cool enough to let me borrow some of his watches to review, which I'm pretty sure you guys seen quite a few. This one is a Victoria Knox Swiss Army. Comes with its original, almost uh, partial kit box. So I'm gonna pull this guy out of the way. This little guy says it has a sapphire crystal, but let's find out what we really have on there. I'm gonna let this guy warm up. Put it right here for now. I'm gonna, I'll jump in and get the measurements out of the way. This little gem is from lug to lug 40 or 54.5 millimeters the thickness of this bad boy i measured it at a 15.4 uh, which you can see the thickness of this guy i'll explain to you in a minute why it's uh got some little weight to it and from pretty much uh in between the two and the three pusher and the crown to the eight I have it at 45 and with the from the nine to three with the crown I got it at 49.5 millimeters this is a 22 millimeter lug width it's on the vertical brush a K stainless steel the cool part that I had the clasp Safety latch that if I could get my hand on my finger into there, man, there it is. And it's a butterfly clasp, and it has a safety latch, so you know if you hit it, it won't operate. And I'll show you this little. It's a expedition case back. You could almost see it. This is a uh, Valjoux 7750 chronograph. They modified it to uh, make room for the date. Nine times out of ten, uh, when you see a watch with a date wheel all the way to the three, this is on a bigger plate. They had to uh, widen it to uh, compensate for the fact that they were going to put a date wheel in there for a bigger watch. So they had to add an extra layer of material to do it. Or else you'll see something like this. Where the date window is a little bit more closer. But we got... We got a big boy with the, a lot with a pretty good weight to it. Things might be and the triple digit or yeah triple digit uh, grams. I don't know precise. You hack a hand winds. Uh, I'll set the time for right now. Let's go there and change the date. And let's see if we can hear the wind. Give it some power. Then you should be able to see like I said before in the past videos um, they usually mark the movements let's see if I can zoom in to get what this one is it's gonna be a little challenge Yeah. 
and that kind of. So, let's zoom out. So it's a seven seven fifty. Also, uh, they call it um, A O seven dot two eleven. This is has a forty six hour power reserve, twenty five joules. Beats at uh, twenty eight hundred. 28,800 beats per second. And we'll, we'll see with the chronograph in action. As it goes, you gotta make sure to press hard on the A button. This is your A, this is your B. And as it's rotating around, I'll give you a wrist shot. It's not sized to my wrist, therefore I have not I do not take any links out of watches that are not mine. And this is what seven and three quarter inch wrist. I actually, I actually like it, but I'm not gonna buy it. Let's see. Take that off, man. We'll see if we got Sapphire. Yep, Sapphire. And let's see what the case back. Case back is mineral. Put that out of the way. We have, looks like you're running seconds, your, your minutes and hours. Hit A to, to pause it. Look at that snapback. That's a pretty cool watch. This is how I kind of would like every single watch company that do chronograph put it at least uh, with the vertical clutch and have the date off to the side of that but to each their own they'll make watches the way they want to make them little thing that is putting off putting for me is the fact that it's a thick case where's Pretty well, but this is too top heavy. That's probably uh, almost uh, gives them uh, Invicta those monstrosity watches a, a run for the, the a run for their money, but not always the case. And I forgot to mention that this crown has the Swiss stamp on there. Do you guys like watches with uh, ex Expedition case spec or do you prefer them to be uh, completely hidden so you can't see? Actually, me personally, I like it so you can see all the details that they put in the in the watch. So if you want to, it's like looking at the... Like looking at the seagull movement with the chronograph. Let's see. Let me know what you guys think about uh, Victoria Knox in general. Put in the comment below. Until the next one, you guys have a good one. Bye.